of people in New York City that are working but uninsured. Um, health insurance is very expensive and they have to purchase their own health care often. So they'll often go to a clinic and they'll sit for three hours to see a doctor for five minutes. They'll never see that doctor again. They don't have good follow-up. It's very impersonal. Um, and it doesn't do anything for a positive attitude toward a person's health. A lot of my friends are photographers or artists and they happen to be uninsured because it's so expensive for a freelancer to, uh, to get some insurance. So I, um, they're also very wired and they'd often email me or IM me their problems and I'd email them back and you know I just figured well why can't I you know create a practice that uh, utilized um, the internet to, uh, to treat some medical problems. There are some legal issues surrounding diagnosing people strictly over the internet. I don't do that. I use the internet as a supplement to a primary visit. Well, someone would come to my website because I'm strictly a house call physician, so they would come to my website and they would enroll in my service. They'll fill out a long form that essentially details their entire medical history and I will uh, go to their house, we'll set up an appointment and do a complete physical exam, take their blood pressure, listen to their heart, everything. The experience was great to be honest with you. A uh, very personable guy, he got to know me first before he asked about what was going on with me health-wise and it seemed like he really cared, that he really wanted to to affect the medical system in general. And that came across just by talking to him. Uh, and it, it was really nice that he came to my, uh, my house to, to speak with me. And that's something, you know, that the medical industry doesn't do too often is go that extra step for the patients. And I really appreciated that. You don't have to go to a clinic uh, and wait three hours for a five-minute doctor visit and you'll never see that doctor again. So if something goes bad with the treatment or is going well and you just have a few questions, how are you going to get a hold of that clinic doctor? Um, I think that's a real problem in our healthcare system. So I really want to have excellent follow-up and the way I can have excellent follow-up with my patients is being extremely wired. You can text me, email me, IM me, just tell me how you're doing. If there's sensitive information that you need to tell me that you're not comfortable with the whole world knowing, don't tell me over I am, you know. But if you're comfortable telling me about your allergy symptoms, by all means, you know, who isn't? That I can actually go and um, input any information that I want about any of my patients and see any of my patients' uh, records from any web-enabled computer. It's highly secure. All your information is stored in a server in New Mexico. Um, it's compliant with all of the uh, federal regulations for patient privacy. And uh, it's great because people can call me up and if they need a refill, I can pop on my iPhone, press a button, and send the prescription off to the pharmacy. Uh, most people don't even know that the prices vary from you know, for one medication at a mom and pop store here in the Lower East Side, it costs forty-five dollars, and you know, one of the big chains is selling it for one hundred and twenty. But I've probably visited about, I'd say, between one hundred and one hundred and fifty pharmacies, and I found out what areas of Manhattan have the lowest prices. And a lot of these big chains will drug, will price match. For the three months prior to opening up my practice, I called about 2,000, 2,500 doctors, radiologists, pharmacists, laboratories, and I asked them for their prices. I know who charges the best price and gives the highest quality service. So if you need anything beyond what I provide, I make sure you don't pay $750 for a mammogram. I make sure you pay $125 because that's a reasonable charge. My patients think this is the best thing in the entire world. They don't have to go to a, cl a clinic waiting room for three hours and get hacked on by you know someone who's very sick. Something that, that our generation has not had. I mean, this is, some, this is an old concept of making house calls. Most of my friends are also people uh, in the industry that are creative people, you know, poets and writers and uh, actors and models and 
So these are all people that, you know, have hectic schedules and have, you know, don't have the time to go spend four hours sitting in a, a doctor's office waiting to see somebody. Where you call him, you schedule, he says, when are you free, when, when am I free, you work it out, and he comes right here. Talk to any older person, they say it was the heyday, that was the best thing about having a doctor, uh, was that they'd come to you when you were sick. Now the entire industry is all about the convenience of doctors. When you're sick, you're expected to go wait in the waiting room for three hours. I think that when you're sick, I should come to you.